No, no. Okay. I didn't want that to be a bottomless pit or something. Uh, of course you're going up whenever. Okay. No. That was like on the side of that thing, not the bottom of it. Let's see. So yeah, so far it's not really been Amy that's been a bad character because she's she's a better, a lot better than the first in the first game. But it's mostly been bullcrap kills in this game. Like this is where I mostly die is because of bullcrap kills, and I'm not the only one who feels that way. So um, let's see. Oh, that's kind of weird, but okay. So Sonic 3D Blast, that's a game. Oh, crap. Huh. You know something I realized? Sega, or, yeah, the Wii U never seemed to, uh, really, they never did release Genesis games on the Wii U market, if, if they haven't, if they don't plan to, they, they haven't done that. Uh, anyway, um, that thing's still spinning. Whatever that is. Oh, let's skip that thing really quickly. Let's see here. So I remember the Sonic Flash game that I used to play back in elementary school. <laughs> um, and uh, it would have the first level from this game as the first two levels, like the first world. But it would randomly play the um, it would randomly play uh, the Sonic 3 music, like the uh, you, do, you you probably know what I'm talking about. But it, it, it was an interesting game. It was really cool because. You can unlock Amy and Shadow. It would have been awesome to use Shadow in this game. Uh, depending on how they do it. But, but they don't, but unfortunately, the only Game of Advance game where you can use Shadow, as far as I know of, is, um, Sonic Battle. Which, maybe I'll get to that at some point. Um. Let's see. Um. Oh, going down again. So, I can, I can actually remember something. I can remember being in elementary school, and I remember this person used to hog playing that game. I was trying to play, I was like, oh, I get to play it. As soon as I got a hold of it and got to use Shadow for a little bit, it was just like, get off the computer! You've been hogging it all day! I don't know, no, that's not what to say, but, uh, but I remember, like, I hardly got a chance to do certain things there. And I remember one... <laughs> I remember back in, uh, third grade... I'm probably gonna complain. I'm gonna probably say this like I'm complaining and I'm mad about it now, but I'm not. I just, I'm just letting you know I'm not mad about it now. It was stupid, but I'm not mad about it anyway, because it's obviously it was back in third grade. Um, but I remember uh, being in third grade, and my teacher used to be very, very strict about things. It, it almost seemed like she would try to punish us for like something. She would basically be like, like right there with punishments if we did a little tiny thing, or if, if one student did a little tiny thing, we'd be, we'd all be punished. And throughout third grade, I missed a lot of recess because this teacher was so strict, and so you know, like I don't mind when when teachers follow the rules and stuff, you know, that kind of thing. But like, uh, you know, depending on the rule, like. Obviously, there's going to be rules that I think are bullcrap. Kind of like, you know, laws and stuff. There may be some laws I think is bullcrap, but... You know, whatever. Um, but, like... Golly, this teacher was strict. And we were deprived of a... We were deprived of recess for a really long time. Um, and it was just... Like, what even is this? Um, you know, it was, okay, let me put it this way, um, we missed out on a lot of recess because of, 
because of some stupid things. I used to, I used to honestly get in trouble for really stupid. I think I mentioned this before, but I used to get in trouble for all kinds of stupid things. Also, some of them that I've done and deserved, and then there's some, and then there was a lot that was just like, this other kid did worse or did this, and they don't get punished. Well, what is with that? Like, I, I know there's gonna be people that say that and exaggerate. I'm not exaggerating. I used to get in trouble for all kinds of stupid things. Stupid in the fact that I got in trouble for it. Um, I remember that was around the time when video games were allowed to be played at recess. Like, we were allowed to play Game Boys and all that stuff. Because back in the day it was the Game Boys. Like, the DS didn't come out until... Um, like, I think I was in the... Either in the four, at the end of the fourth grade, or, or the beginning of the fourth, or the beginning of the fifth grade, is when the DS came out. So that was a little bit, but that was still expensive. So we were still known for having Game Boys and stuff. It was a fresh new, you know. Anyway, um, but yeah, it was just like what was stupid was I got in trouble, or okay, like I used to get in trouble and stuff. So I wasn't allowed to play my game or anything. It wasn't until, like, I don't know... I think one day, I got to play one day, I got to play my Game Boy. It was uh, advanced. It was kind of near the end of the day, anyway. Uh, but I got to play one day, a couple people watched me. Um, I don't remember, I may have had the SP at the time. I don't remember. Maybe I didn't. I don't remember exactly, but, um... I don't remember. The SP either came out in the 2002 or 2003. And I got one about... Around that time. I don't remember exactly. But anyway. I think it was 2004 actually. So maybe it wasn't the SP. I still had a Game Boy Advance. But luckily the sun was out. Obviously. Um, but... Um, so yeah. I had to play... I got to play... Once. I think it was Sonic Advance. Or something. Um, Sonic Advance and Sonic Advance 2. I got to play it once. The very next day, the principal goes, Alright, no more Game Boys, no more video ga video games. So uh, you, you can imagine that I was really irritated. <laughs> um, I mean, you, could, you could just imagine. That I was actually pretty irritated. <sighs> Ironically, or, or what's <coughs> what's funny, it was in the same grade as when I got introduced to Sonic. When I was watching one of my friends play it, or whenever I was, because at the time I didn't. I've mentioned this story before, but at the time I only knew about the bubble games of Sonic. I didn't pay attention to a lot of stuff. Didn't watch a whole lot of TV or anything. Um, and I didn't see much of Sonic or didn't think about it as much. Didn't pay attention. I saw the bubble games like, oh, that's cool. And, uh, and long story short, I watched my friend play Sonic, the original Sonic Advance. I was like, oh, that's cool. I think I want to ask for that for Christmas. And that's how I started on Sonic. Oh no. Glad I caught that. <laughs> That would have been bad. Oh, oh. Yeah, Amy's not so bad in this game so far. I think, well, I think the only reason I, I, I think I did, I don't remember exactly what I did in recordings, but uh, I think I did a little worse with Sonic at the time because it, it had been a while since I played this game, so I didn't know the levels too well. Oh, so I still don't know the levels too well. I just kind of speed through them. I only know certain parts of it, of them. Let's see. <coughs> um, just uh, up here. But anyway, yeah, that, like I, I, I remember I actually asked the principal why we weren't allowed to bring any games anymore. It should seem like an obvious thing, but like he said, he was like, ah, people are losing them and all that stuff. See, honestly, the schools I went to. I know that you always, at least on TV, I always see these uh, bullcrap kills, but also, um... Come on, die already! Okay, <laughs> die already, I was gonna say. Um... 
So, basically, in the schools I went to, I always see on, like, TV and stuff, these, these kids are allowed to speak on their cell phones. I even see, like, I've even heard, like, these people being allowed, being allowed to be on their cell phone, just not while they're doing work and stuff. My school was so strict that if they even saw a phone at all, my schools, if they even saw a phone at all, I mean, it's gone. I mean, you, you can't, you have to either pay to get it back or you have to get it back at, like, the end of the year or something. They were, they were retarded about it. I can, I, okay, like, let me put it this way. I can definitely understand not allowed having your phone out while school's going on. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's, it's understandable. Because you gotta get to work. That's the thing. And like I said, I'm saying this like I'm mad about it now. I'm not, I'm just, I, I do still think it's stupid, but it, you know. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not personally like mad anymore but at, at like me possibly getting in trouble yeah so I mean luckily I was at the time I wasn't really that interested in getting on my phone as like other kids were um, I only started because a lot of people started using that way and it was, it was a little bit hard to get on the computer when you only had one computer and you had to share with the whole family but um you had to share a little graphical glitch right there. Unless it's, I don't know if it's a graphical glitch or not, but um, actually. But um, that's possible. So I hope this game doesn't freeze on me. I'll just lose my points is all. I can always skip these levels. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Of course you can't, you can't skip the second level. I mean you can't skip, you can't play a boss level though. Like I can't just go straight to this boss. I have to play through the second level again. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, my schools, I mean, obviously in elementary school, we didn't really have phones at the time, it, it, you know, like, I know there's even kids today that have phones in elementary school, but I, you know, I wasn't around, the, uh, around that time, cell, cell phones were still, like, kind of big and all this stuff, but, um, I mean, I didn't actually get my cell phone until like seventh or eighth grade, I think, and it was just a regular phone that I could only send texts and calls and stuff to through. Um, and well, didn't have re didn't really have that many people to text either. But anyway, um, I mean, I was in like the eleventh or I was either a junior or a senior by the time I actually had a smartphone. Um. Stretching again. Um, but anyway, yeah, uh, I didn't have it at the time. But yeah, the schools, like I said, understandable. Don't talk during class or something. But they were so strict about it. There's some kids I think were really retarded and just like, oh, I'm gonna talk and I'm gonna get mad that I got in trouble, like over certain th certain situations. But yeah, the school will just. I think they even, like, suspended... They, I think they even suspend you, or they would even suspend you, I mean, if you had your phone out at all, like, talking on it. Now, if it, now I think they understand a little more, hopefully. I think they understood a little more. I, I'm saying it like I'm still there. Um, I think they would they would have understand, stood a little more that if your phone had just fallen out, or if it, or in my case one time, my phone had come on because I used to have a Blackberry, and the way to turn that thing, the way I turned that thing, the turn, blah, 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 I turned that thing on, was just by pressing a button. Just one button, and it was turned on. <laughs> um, so yeah. <laughs> I don't remember what I did with that thing. I mean, obviously it doesn't matter now, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, that, it would turn on one button. So I, whenever I had it in my pocket, it would just it would just press the button, um, and oh, there it goes. You know, there there it is on. So I've had to ask my teacher before to, to be sure that like I had to tell him I was just like, ah, my phone came on, can I turn it off? And you know, I had to ask permission. I think there was actually a lot of teachers there that would be against these bullcrap kills, but um. Uh, I think there's a lot of teachers there that would do their job, but like they didn't really want to punish a kid because they didn't want to do, you know, stuff, and they were just like, "Oh, can you not do this, please?" You know. 
Um, because I'd say they probably would have gotten in trouble if, uh, you know, if they didn't follow the rules and punish the kid for something. Um, of course, if you were a sports player, you would, you would, or depending on if the teacher liked you or not, then he'd get away with it. <sighs> so anyway, uh, 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 oh, yeah, anyway, um, so yeah, I had, I, I went to some very strict schools, and I also used to get in trouble for a lot of stupid things, and most of them, most of the time, it was stupid that I got in trouble for certain things. But as I said, it wasn't it wasn't 100%. Oh, I got in trouble just because of certain things. It was like, yeah, there's some things that I got in trouble for that I deserve punishment for. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like, I I never even tried to do certain things. Like, I'm not gonna get into it, but there was one situation in high school where I got in trouble, kind of suspended in a way, not really. Like, not really suspended, more of a, oh, he's dangerous, so we gotta keep him out. They thought I was dangerous because of stuff I said to, uh, a, uh, friend of mine before, uh, when we were friends, I don't know what he calls now, but, um, <laughs> uh, but, like, uh, well, since stuff, things happen, she decided to turn me into the school, and I'm like, the school has no business getting in that business. I'm not actually gonna do anything, but they're they don't have any business doing this. It's getting to some drama now. <laughs> but um well, it was kinda some drama back then, but yeah, I got in, in trouble. The school took it way too seriously. It was a very liberal school, so I took it way too seriously. Um what I said. Uh as I was say the thing wasn't making noise and it was like not moving. Anyway, um, yeah. Alright, I died. Because I know right there... Oh, and I'm at the beginning of the level! Alright. Anyway, um... I used to talk violently in, in school. Talk violently. That's the key thing. Talk. Talk about stuff. Violently. And I never did anything. Um, still don't do anything like that. I don't think I don't think I've ever even fought anyone before. Like even you know, I never gotten in a fight with anyone. But they were acting like, oh, he's gonna kill us. So, <laughs> so they took what I said too seriously. See, that's the thing. All right, it is a serious. <laughs> I'm getting some serious stuff now. Um, it is a serious thing. If uh, if if you know someone brings a gun to school, I mean, obviously that's serious. But they always took it too seriously, like, anyone who would say anything about it, they would, like... I remember there was even kids that would just joke around say they were gonna bring a bomb to school or something. And the school would seriously... The next day we'd have to spend time being in line to be sure, and they'd have to check our stuff because, like, one kid or something said that they were gonna bring a bomb to school. So they had to check us all. One kid joking around, obviously, uh, most likely joking around. Because, like, 99 out of 100 times when a kid says they're gonna do something at school, do something violent, it doesn't happen. I mean, it's only like 9 times out of. It's like. Like, maybe 8 out of 10 times when a kid says they're gonna get in a fight, that, that happens, but. You know, like I said, 8, eight out of 10 times it happens, or, well, nah, 8 out of 10 times it doesn't happen. I don't know. Well, okay, let me put it this way. A fight, fist fight, and everything is more likely to have a lot more likely to happen than a, than a gun or a bomb at school. 